Yo, what's going on, you nerds? Welcome back to the channel, Horcrux here. Guys, do you want to get better at PvP? Look no further, because in this video, I'm going to have my top 5 tips and tricks I use on the daily to give me every advantage possible I can have in any PvP scenario. So, let's get into it. Welcome back guys, and before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, please like and eviscerate the subscription button even before you know what any of this content or tips and tricks you're about to hear is about. One of the great many perks of being subscribed to the channel is that I can personally reduce your ping in Cyrodiil down to zero at any given time. Trust me, and it's a free service, okay? Patrons, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for funding my crippling addiction to popcorn. I don't know how else I would get my salty, buttery fix if it wasn't for you guys. Okay, so tip number one, it's definitely going to be tab targeting. If you guys do not tab target, you need to start doing it. It literally gives you wall hacks. It keeps track of whoever you focus. So notice I focus the healer as you typically do in the BGs. It allows me to see her through the wall and able to get her to focus here. Unfortunately, in this clip, I do end up getting my cheeks absolutely clapped. But if everyone on the team is doing the same thing is on the same page, you will probably have a different result than uh, this miserable, miserable demise. But yes, guys, please, tab targeting is amazing. You can see, even when I spawn here, I can see the healer across the map. And it's really good because as long as you can keep track of the healer's movements, if anyone is segregated, like away from the healer, like line of sight, let's say, for example, the reds chase me around this corner here, which they do, this person right here is now not in line of sight over healer. I can focus him and possibly get the burst, but he makes a really smart play. He runs back to his healer to get the reinforcement he needs so it's very very important for you to tab target a healer or just any focus target maybe a squishy or something like that in the back lines okay guys tip number two has to be movement the movement is so imperative in ESO it's not even funny you can mitigate so much damage just by being super fast or able to kite line of sight LOS as they call it, especially if you're Sorcerer right here you're seeing in these clips that I can just streak away, streak into people. Not many classes can gap close over a cliff like this or a gap, whatever you want to call it. So that's one of the advantages you guys need to start using is your terrain. Terrain, movement, it all plays together. You need to know how your class plays to better utilize its advantages okay if you're a slow potato class it's probably pretty good to line of sight if you're a super hyper aggressive movement hero kind of like a magic sorcerer or a stand blade or you know what have you right you just need to use the terrain to your advantage to thin the herd to kind of divide and conquer the zergs if you truly want one vx this is true for a small group play pvp even true for zergs to an extent so guys please work is work on your movement focus on your surroundings and have a contingency plan in mind when you're in pvp okay guys so coming in at tip number three here we have the debuff bar for the love of god guys please do not turn off your debuff bar it comes in handy so often especially when people are in stealth or snipe spamming you or focus aiming you or putting curses on you from out of reach i actually have a clip here in the background during my 1vx clips this is actually one of my videos that i posted prior but i'm reusing it anyway because i can <clears throat> but i constantly 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 stare at my debuff bar when i'm in a 1vx right and it's so important to map out where people are coming from like in the clip in the background i had no clue that this sorcerer was even in the background until i saw curse pop up on my debuff bar and that signaled to me i'm like hey horcrux you need to start being defensive you know there's more people around you and it's really good to get in the habit of that because it's not possible to keep track of literally everything on the battlefield you get tunnel vision i get tunnel vision just like everyone else i'm constantly watching my lie attack trying to time them out with all the lag i'm watching to see if there's any special procs in my opponent like mechanical acuity or seeing an iron blood proc go off so i don't completely waste my burst so get in the habit guys please check your debuff bar check it off and especially when you see like a magicka or drain cost poisons like a cost increase poisons excuse me you definitely don't want to be popping your, your breath of life heals if you don't necessarily have to. When you see major minor defile on you, 
it's so important to cleanse those off if you're a Templar. And so that is definitely tip number three. Keep track of your buffs and debuffs, more so the debuffs than the buffs. And it will really, really help you in the long run. Like, honest to God, guys. Okay, guys, so coming in, tip number four is potions. Potions are pivotal in any top PvP player's arsenal. No matter what situation you are in, there is a potion for that. Hey, you're running low on resources, you need a health boost, there's a tripod for that. Hey, there's like 10 Nightblades hitting you, they're annoying like little gnats, right? Well, guess what? There is an Essence of Detection potion for that. You know what? Hey, I just want to free up some bars, uh, some slots on my bars just so I have more abilities to play around with. Guess what? There's a Alliance Spell Drop potion for that, giving you crit major sorcery right hey i'm a necro and i want to run a harmony build but hey there's a harmony bug in the game right now to where if i take any cc or i walk out of my harmony whatsoever my little harmony circle or if i sprint to my circle a hey, it cancels it and i completely lose my harmony proc and i'm dead and it sucks well guess what guys there's a potion for that too essence of removability just so you do not have to encounter that bug so what i'm trying to say is guys potions are there to complement your build anything you are lacking there is a potion for that you need more defenses well guess what there's a potion just to increase your resistances right hey you need to be a little speedy boy guess what guys there's a potion for that it gives you major expedition you know what you're lacking a you're lacking a hot you need some more burst steals guess what guys there's major vitality and lingering health potions for that as well so take away from this what you will Anything you're lacking in your build or setup, just complement with potions. It's as easy as that. Okay, guys, so tip number five. This one starts even before you even power up ESO, even before you power on your rig, before you log in, all of that. Guys, please hardline your computer or console, whatever platform you're on. ESO is not the most stable game if you guys haven't noticed, right? So please take it from Horcrux, hardline your rig. It reduces your ping and your latency so, so much, especially when you encounter the Zergs. It's just a phenomenal trick that no one really talks about. Guys, don't use a Wi-Fi. Like, I, I understand like some of you may be like on the third story of your mansion and then the server or whatever is down the bottom floor guys who cares drill holes in your floor run the ethernet cable all the way to your rig you will can thank me later and a little tip a little bonus for the end guys even if you completely ignore all these tips and tricks you are absolutely dog at pvp guys as long as you look sexy as fuck at the end of the day with your cosmetics it doesn't matter at least you can say you walk through the valley of shadow of the death and you'll fear no evil for you are the sexiest motherfucker in all the land right so hopefully you enjoyed the video guys again i'm doing pvp top five please submit your clips to horcrux eso at yahoo.com i have a patreon if you guys want one-on-one -on -one time with me no homo some pvp coaching link is down in the description below i have all kinds of tiers ranging from one to a hundred dollars just whatever suits your family your not your family whatever suits your financial needs and your fancy at the time so thanks guys for watching to the end i appreciate each and every one of you take care have a great weekend peace